number nine. I'm leaving the zoom off. Um, because some of you like seeing the cats play up and they're playing up behind me. I am perspiring. It is late high thirties. I've turned the fan off because of the noise on the microphone. We left it that um, Hans, Gretel, Griwok and X were in a restaurant. X had walked in and shook Han's hand and almost crushed his hand. Remember, Hans hasn't got much knowledge of Thailand. Yes, you guys guessed it. X is a ladyboy. So when... Uh, when... Gretel had said that Griewok didn't really have a girlfriend. Well, she sort of, she had a ladyboy. And maybe was a little bit embarrassed, I don't know. But enter X, and you guys need to name X and put X in the story. Let me move you. Uh, no, that's no good. Sorry, guys, moving around. Um, so you need to name X for the storyline. <laughs> they had a look at the menu, and at this point, X hadn't really said anything. But when X came to order, X had a quite a low pitch voice and ordered <laughs> with a low pitch voice still hands hadn't twigged <laughs> it still didn't twig through the meal they had a meal lovely meal a couple of drinks and uh, end of the night uh, they all stood up to go and Gret, uh, Griewok again wide hands to say goodbye and X put her arms around him and gave him a hug but then put a hand on, on his hand to shake his hand and put a little bit of paper in his hand and him being well let's just say he felt the bit of paper so he concealed it. Good boy. That could have got everyone in a lot of trouble. And Gretel. They all said goodbyes and off they went. He went off to the... He just, I've gone to the loo first. Went to the loo. Opened a bit of paper. X name in Thai. Phone number. And in, uh, in English, call me. What's that all about? A... Eh? Call me. I mean, that's just the cheek of some people. And he's he's got call me phone number. Can't read X's name, but he knows who it is. Still no idea what's going on. Anyway, off they go. Home. Health insurance sorted out. Car, house, everything sorted out. The next week, they start uh, searching around for Gretel's investment the house is being sold the money's going through they go and see some brand new gated community houses in Canchanabri um, and the house they're looking at this estate Gretel says to Hans this is the estate I like it's the best one it's new there's 40 houses on here use of a pool gym and everything else maintenance costs are low um, and this house is 2.1 million baht so I can get a deal where I put the million down and I've only got 1.1 which means it can be on 10, 20, 30 years and I can get it so it's a low rent and I can pay it off quicker and my sister will set everything up get me a great mortgage that I can just keep paying quickly let's go and have a look at it off they go two bedroom two storey detached house with about four meters of ground all the way around that's it it's very similar to the one they're in very similar brand new yeah and Hans is like well it's a great investment yeah what rent would you get well she said if I get 8,000 baht a month rent it would pay two months mortgage so perfect and she said I'll easily get 8,000 for this and he said well that's uh, that would just make sense the numbers and uh, she says, I might want to have a look at one that's slightly bigger, just along the road. Oh, wow, it's 
getting hot. I said, okay. So they go across the road, three bedroom, with five meters of land around it and a, a better, bigger driveway with a carport the way it's two story plus an extra room hanging over the carport. 3.2 million. And she said, now this is, and he, he said, oh, this is beautiful. This house was so much better. 3.2 million, she said. Um, and again, I can get a mortgage for the 2.2 million, put a million down, 2.2 mortgage. That comes out at 7,000 baht a month mortgage. So if I, she said, if I rented this one, I would get 10 to 11,000 a month rent. And he's like, wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. And then she says, we're getting on great. What about, why don't you, we, we get this one and you invest a million bar. I invest a million bar. And then we only got 1.2 million bar mortgage. We'll charge ourselves 8,000 bar a month rent. We'll put it on a shorter mortgage and it'll be paid off in no time at all like a 10-year mortgage and Hans said well I, I, I don't know he said I hadn't really thought about investing how can I do that as a good boy as a foreigner investing in in a property you can't own property in Thailand and she said no problem she says we'll get the mortgage in my name We'll put the monies down. We'll we'll put a little letter together so that the money's you know it's yours and my money and everything. She said, "If you want, we'll we'll lease the house to you in your name. You can then get an address, which is called the Tabian Ban, the Yellow Book. You can then get an ID, Thai ID card, and um, you can then put the car in your name because you've got that and everything." makes you more Thai and your money's safe and it's and we could get a, live in a bigger house we're paying 8,000 for that small place we can move to this better house live in this better house it's a good investment for your money because your money in Germany is not earning you any money at all the house prices are going to go up here surely yeah right you try selling the second hand house in Thailand house prices will never go down yeah again yeah right and there's very low maintenance cost we've got a pool we can use a gym everything's brilliant or i'll just buy the 2.1 million on my own if you don't trust me this is how she said it if you don't trust me it's only known her two three four weeks whatever it is um and he says wisely oh let me have a think about that I said, yeah, okay, but we have to move quick. I've got to move quick because these will sell. So she gets the phone number of the girl saleswoman. Says, I'm interested in the 3.2 and the 2.1 or one or the other. And the 2.1? Hmm. So, off home. He still hasn't used that bit of paper. Telephone in X. And they just fall into a daily life. He's starting to drive. She's got a beat up old scooter. Yeah, here we go. Beat up old scooter. He's a biker, remember he likes bikes. He's on that, he keeps borrowing it. And he's learning the roads. He goes off and drinks coffee and has occasional beer or he goes off to get the shop to get some bread and cakes. You know that that's down the line, you know there's a bike coming. A few weeks passed and they are settling in, they're getting on really well. Still, Hans is doing the solo aerobics. Uh, they haven't had the Gretel's tomboy girlfriend round again. Not really spoke about it. But let's let's accelerate this on. This is going a few weeks, going on a few more weeks. And that's time she said, look, I've got to sort the house out. Her money's come through from the sister. There's a million baht there, she goes, right, I have got to do this what are we thinking what do you think and Hans he's 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 looking at the German exchange rates and he's looking at the German interest of the banks 
he spent a million, maybe a million and a half. He started with six. He's got a million baht sat in that Thai bank account. And he's probably got a million sat in his account. Or close on. And he's left, I think, three million back in Germany. The exchange rates are not bad. And they look like they're going to go down. At the moment, it's at this point in time, it was close on 50. Um, for, for me, I'm saying 50 baht to the pound. So it's going to be similar to the euro. Um, and he thinks, well, we are getting on great. If I invest there, we move to a better house. It's a good investment. Nothing really can go wrong. And as we go forward, if we end up settling down and maybe even getting married, it's all good for the future. We get a better house to live in. And he turns around to Gretel and says, yes, let's send a million baht from Germany straight over to my account. I'll pull it out and you can put it in whichever account it's got to go in. Remember that. We'll do it. Let's go for that 3.2 million. She goes, okay, brilliant. Well, can you write up something about saying that this house is your investment and your money and then I'll sign it. I will get all the money's mortgage sorted and paid, get it all fixed, and then we'll do the lease after. Hmm. Okay. Week passes. Million baht arrives. He sent it to that Thai account next to the, well, the sister's bank goes in with Gretel, they pull out a million baht, gives her the cash, million baht cash. She gets her account, transfers her million baht, puts it to the sister, said right sort that out, get the mortgage set, it's two million baht, bang. So a million cash and then she transfers. Sister's like yep yeah, all right all brilliant, we'll get it sorted within two days and you'll get the house. Now why would he pull a million cash out? Why not just transfer it? He's pulled a million baht cash out of his account, hands it to her in cash. Why didn't he transfer it from his bank to her bank, which was the same bank? A couple of days go past and good news. Gretel says, right, we've been granted the mortgage we now own the 3.2 million baht house all sorted we can move in fantastic the following week the whole week they move she says i've already got someone to take over our rental on that house so that's cool uh, what about his deposit he's paid she said all that will be sorted and put across soon. Okay. A few pickup trucks arrive, friends and friends. Move. New house. 3.2 million baht. They're in. Gated community. He's loving it. He's got a pool to use. He's got a gym down there. He's like, I can start using that and get him fit. they got the nice car. Now. Because I know the questions and our questions are going to come, I'm going to skip into the background here. What's she done? She's bought two houses. She's used his one million as a deposit on the two million house. She's used her one million as a deposit on the three million house. She's bought two houses. She's got someone who's going to rent the 2. Point million to 2 .1 million house. She's in that other one. Someone's dropped into her, the other house. Who owns that? No, don't know. So she's got two mortgages. Her sister is somewhere in there with those two mortgages. He's invested a million baht. What's going on? This little bit only came to my knowledge much later on. Will I explain that to you?
later, later. Patience. She's bought two houses. He doesn't know. She signed his scruffy bit of paper that, yeah, it's his house, one million baht investment, blah, blah, blah. It's not worth the paper it's written on. They moved in. All that new furniture's in. The car. Next thing she was going to do was lease the same big house to him. Um, the conversations start and she says, oh, I found a way out. We don't need to lease it to you. I can be your landlady. So I'm going to rent you this house, make a book, rent it to you, and then we'll get you a yellow book, tabby and ban, tie ID card. It's easier, saves money. He's beginning to lose track with his money. He's not on the ball. He's happy he's got a swimming pool. He's got a gym. He's got a nice house. Beautiful girlfriend. New car. Rubbish bike. Hers. He's moved house. He's still in Canchanabri. Oh my, what's he doing? Hands. Don't forget that phone number on that bit of paper. Have you named her yet? We need a name. I can reveal in episode God, I don't believe it, the battery kicked out again. I can reveal episode 10 coming soon. Sparks fly. Will it be the rise or fall of hands? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I'm really loving this story. Loving it. They're settling into the house, everything's good. You know the then motorcycle's coming, you know it. He's now spent, he's about two and a quarter million baht out of pocket, already. Couple of months. Man's a fool, man's a fool. And he's like a one-armed bandit, no he's like a... Ah, he's just... Ah. Poor old hands, poor old hands. But maybe X will save the day. Remember, some lady boys can be very, very clever. They can be a handful. <laughs> handful. Hmm. Lady boy. And he still doesn't know. Alright, see you soon.